Well, this weekend, I'm heading up to Stanford for the weekend. Are you going to make it up there? You know, I'm not going to be making it, but I know a lot of sports teams are going up there. John yeah. Stallsmith, I know, has more on that. <laughs> Let's see, we have football, water polo, hockey. They're all playing at Stanford this weekend, but for one team, Women of Troy soccer team, the weekend started a little early as they played in the NCAA tournament early today. We'll have a final score coming up next, and voting for the Cy Young is in. The American League vote should not surprise anyone. Sports is next. What up, this is Big Snoop Dogg on Annenberg. You know what I'm saying? Live on the campus of USC. I had to do it for you, man. It ain't every day I'm on SC campus. Look at it. Annenberg News Parks, Big Snoop. Welcome back. The women of Troy's soccer team officially began the title defense of its 2007 national championship today. They took on Boston University in the first round of the NCAA tournament this afternoon in Provo, Utah. It was a tight one early for the women of Troy, but USC took control in the second half with a goal apiece from co-captains Janessa Currier and Ashley Nick, and USC knocked out BU 2 to nothing. With the win, the women of Troy move on to the second round. They will take on the winner of tonight's game between BYU and Virginia Tech. USC will kick off that game at 11 a.m. on Saturday in Utah. USC football heads north to the farm this Saturday to take on Stanford. After a crushing loss to the Cardinal last year, the Trojans are determined to stay focused on the present. Basically just putting the past behind us and we're really focusing on winning this game, so that's been our mindset. We're not really thinking about last year anymore, so it's more of you know, taking care of business today. Defense has taken care of business all season. It has posted three shutouts and allowed only a pair of touchdowns in the last six games. The offense will try to get back on track after being held to 17 points last weekend. This will be Pete Carroll's 100th game as USC's head coach. The game kicks off at 4 p.m. on Saturday in Palo Alto. The 10th ranked women's volleyball team concludes the home portion of its schedule this weekend when they play host to unranked Arizona and Arizona State. The women of Troy are currently 7-6 and six in the Pac-10 and looking to make a push for an NCAA tournament bid. Friday's game against 4-8 and eight Arizona will start at 7 o'clock before the Trojans send off their seniors against 3-9 and nine Arizona State at, on Saturday. Both games will be at the Galen Center. The undefeated, top-ranked men's water polo team will try to run the table this weekend by winning their final two games of the regular season. The Trojans are currently 22-0 and have a 7-0 record in MPSF play. USC will first take on unranked UC Santa Cruz on Friday at 4 o'clock before heading to Palo Alto to wrap up the regular season against third-ranked Stanford at 2 on Saturday. Coming off a dominating sweep against Cal last weekend, the Trojan ice hockey team heads north to face Stanford as well this weekend. USC is currently in second place in the Pac-8 with a 5-3 conference record, while Stanford is in fifth with a 4-2 Pac-8 record. Both games will be played at the Ice Oasis in Redwood City. Both the men's and women's swimming teams, swimming and diving teams open up Pac-10 play this weekend, uh, hosting Arizona State and defending national champion Arizona. The women of Troy are coming off a victory against SMU at the SMU Classic, while the men began their season with a dual meet victory over Notre Dame. Friday's meet starts at 2, while Saturday's starts at high noon. Cleveland Indians pitcher Cliff Lee was named as the American League Cy Young winner today. Lee received 24 of 28 first place votes for the award given to the league's best pitcher. He, made, he had a major league best 22-3 record with a 2.54 ERA and became the second consecutive Indian to win the award after CC Sabathia did so last season. Brett Favre and the Jets are in New England tonight to battle the Patriots in an AFC East showdown. Both teams are currently tied for first with a 6-3 record, and the winner of tonight's game will take sole possession of first place in the division. Currently in the second quarter, the Jets are up big, winning 24-6 with 4.57 left. And looking ahead to college football this weekend, I redeemed myself last weekend and was a very close, very close to going 3-0 with uh, just missing the overtime game. Here's three games to watch this weekend. Florida takes on the other USC and swamps their old ball coach 48-23. Also in Florida, the Seminoles hold off Boston College 20-14. And in a game with significant implications for the Trojans, Cal takes down Oregon State 30-27. So here's the deal. If, if Oregon State loses a game, with Penn State losing last weekend, USC and Penn State will probably face each other in the Rose Bowl, which could mean an Alt House family reunion on January 1st Definitely. in Pasadena. My whole family will fly out. I'll be the only one in Cardinal and Gold. Oh, we'll, we'll be <laughs> proud of you, though. All right. Thanks, John.